Kids, downstairs, tornado warning right now. I am on my way to go uh, see Christopher at Hair Daddy and get my hair done again today. So I'm excited for that. I think I'm just going in for a trim. And then I don't know what else, maybe a tone. I don't know. I don't know it's, but I'm excited to go get it done. I'm definitely in need of a trim. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, so I am back from getting my hair done and Christopher did an amazing job again. I love his curls. They're just so pretty. I wish I could replicate this. I can get something similar, but I think he has a wider barrel. Anyway, he does an awesome job. It's so pretty. Today I just went in and had a gloss done and a cut um, and I think he did a little toning on it, but I didn't need any more like um, lightening done to it or anything yet. So. But I think all in all, it turned out really nice and it was nice to have a trim. I knew it was about due for a trim because it kept uh, like starting to tangle in the back. And normally I know that's when I need a trim is I'll start to get like these rat's nests back here um, if I wear any type of shirt with a collar or anything. So yeah, ah, it feels good though. And it looks so good. He did such a nice job. I love it. He does beautiful work. Can I say that enough? He does beautiful work, but he really does. He does beautiful right work. Right there right by a dead person. Oh, it's quite the imagination you have. Dead. Oh, is that a zombie? Mm hmm Is that the zombie ones? Zombie dog. <gasps> I'm playing with not mine. Zane, he's letting you. That's now, nice he just wants to shoot him, but he's got to eat him if he tries to do that. There's mm -hmm. also the um, son, which is right here. I don't know what happened to his arm. He kind of got his arm broke. This week I'm focusing on just getting the house together for back to school because we start school next week. Um, so I wanna do a top to bottom, just make sure everything's put in its home place, picked up, vacuumed, all that stuff, ready to go, kind of reset for this upcoming school year because once the school year happens, a lot of the cleaning and organization in the house is as I can get to it and just a matter of like trying to keep it maintained. So um, I don't get to do as many big projects during the school year as I would like to get done. So I wanna go ahead and just kind of get it reset, ready to go and then go from there. I think I already said that, but anyway. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna tackle, I've got some recycling in this sink that needs rinsed out and then dishes put away, and then I just have a couple of things in the sink because I did most of the dishes last night, so other than a couple of things that can go in the dishwasher. And uh, tidy up anything here in the kitchen from this morning because I rushed out the door this morning. I actually didn't rush out. I got a lot done. Like, I put out two videos because I put one out on Loved Our Life, and then I put out our vlog this morning, and I was able to get myself ready, and I don't know, I had time to spare. Like, I was... 10, 15 minutes early for my appointment, so I was able to just kind of sit in the car and look at comments, stuff like that. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm loving getting back on an early morning schedule. Summer's kind of slack for us, so now usually this week before school happens, I try to get us back into a getting up early in the morning, going to bed early routine, which I think is, you know, I remember when I was in school and when the kids were in public school, um, I would do that, that would be our routine. I usually started two weeks before with public school because I had to get up a bit earlier than we do here for homeschool. Um, but for homeschooling, I just do like the week before we get back on our routine of going to bed. I did kind of track them down a little bit early. Um, last week, I kind of started backing their bedtime up a little bit earlier than normal and now it's closer to where I want them for the school year, so anyway. That is what's going on today, is just trying to get things ready for our upcoming school year. Okay, oh, that feels so much better. Everything's reset for the day. Let's be real here. I still have all this from camping yet to sort through. 
This whole duffel bag here is dirty laundry. And I believe that one is all dirty laundry as well. So I know one of the suitcases is clean laundry. So that could be my clean laundry one. We'll see. <sighs> Lots to do. <laughs> okay. So I'm not seeing anything right now. It looks pretty clear, but it is hot and humid um, right now. And we are under a severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, so last night we were supposed to get hit with some severe storms um, around midnight and 4 a.m. And all of that tracked away from us and went up towards Minnesota. So now what they're saying is all those storms that have been hitting Minnesota are back building and coming back into the Hawkeye State, as they call it, into Iowa. So um, right now through 5 o'clock, so it's about 2 o'clock right now, through 5 o'clock it looks like we're pretty clear, um, but we have the potential to have severe thunderstorms once again. Um, I'm just going to keep a tr keep an eye on the radar. I've got my Alexa set up and I know I had one of you ask me how you set her up with um, severe thunderstorm warnings and basically you just do this. Hey Alexa, notify me of severe weather alerts please. You already have severe weather alerts turned on. So that's how you do it is you basically just tell her and obviously you can see I have it turned on but yeah that's how you do that you just ask her to do it so anyway i'm gonna get back to some of my housework that i've been doing i cleared out oh, i i pulled my garbage can lid off and forgot to put it back on um i cleared out some of this area here where i had all that stuff i've already cleared out one su uh, duffel bag oh, oh my goodness so i opened it up and it had our dirty clothes in the duffel bag um from camping and when I opened it up, it was like bonfire smoke. The smell of it just hit me in the face. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> so um, I ended up having to wipe the bag out and Febreze it down. And then I threw those clothes in right away because I was like, I have got to get rid of this smell. It was like so overpowering from just being condensed in that bag. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Potential. And they said all this week. So for those of you who really like our storm vlogs, um, all this week we're looking at um, possible storms so and with the way the humidity is now here I'll show you Alexa what's the humidity right now right now the humidity is 60 percent so it's 60 percent humidity Alexa what's the temperature right now right now it's 91 degrees Fahrenheit okay it's 91 with 60 percent humidity so let me look because normally I can tell you what it actually feels like. So the humidity is what makes it feel so much hotter. If you're from an area where you get a lot of humidity, you know what I'm talking about. Um, because there's a huge difference between like dry heat and humid heat. It feels like 102. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. <laughs> it's almost three o'clock and so far, that's how our weather's looking. It still looks, still looks blue and clear and it's still hot as all get out. Um, so what I have currently been doing is I went and I put away some clean clothes for the kids. I had a basket before I left that I had washed clothes and when I was going through the stuff that we needed to pack for our trip, um, I pulled out anything that was extra that I didn't need and I just threw it in a basket till I got back. So I just got done putting that stuff away I was kicking my glass recycling out of the way. I have to drop that off today. It's completely full. Um, anyway, so I was going through Ireland's ballet bag, seeing what she has, what she needs yet. And she basically needs, other than her bag and her water bottle, she needs everything new because she's outgrown everything since last year. She's probably two sizes bigger in her leotard because she's grown so tall. Um, and her ballet shoes don't fit, so I think we're going to donate those because there's a spot at the um, ballet studio where you can donate your old shoes um, for someone that needs them or if they accidentally forgot their shoes. I think that's what it's for as well. So anyway, we're going to donate her old ballet shoes and uh, see if we can't pick her a new pair up. So she's going to need tights, uh, leotard, 
skirt if she wants it. She might want the skirt for the performance, but I think for like up in the studio itself, she hasn't been really wearing the skirt anymore. So <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. And so far, so far we're good. So this is my next project of the day. I have sleeping bags that need put in here, Aspen's life vest. That sheet is just an extra sheet, so I'm gonna actually clean out the cooler. I've already cleaned the top off, um, but I need to clean the inside from the camping trip, and then I'm gonna stuff the sleeping bags in here. I'm gonna dry it out, put the sleeping bags in here, and put the sheet from camping, because I think we're gonna save that, because we're definitely gonna do it again. It was a really good time. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of store all that stuff in here. And then if we need to utilize one of these, I can just pull that stuff out and put it in the shed. But that way, because the shed does have an area that leaks and spiders and stuff, it'll keep it'll keep that from getting in our sleeping bag. So and it'll keep them nice and dry. Okay, so it's about 3.30 and we are now under a severe thunderstorm warning for our county. Um, it looks like Dyersville, out by where the Field of Dreams was played, they're getting ready to get hit by the storm. Oh, I'm out of breath because I just, I just stacked everything up and tried to secure it the best that I could. Um, a lot of the stuff is in, I gotta show you though. It's so humid, I'm not sure. It's probably gonna take a minute for my camera to be able to do this. But this is what I'm seeing right now from that storm. They're saying 80 mile an hour winds possible um inch hail okay so that's currently what i'm seeing and then over this way some of these lower lying clouds not as low as we had them the last time, but this right here, this is what, what we're watching. And a lot of times when we track these storms, we see them coming from that way, but this time we're seeing a lot of the activity this way. And they said it is a fast moving storm, so. those clouds up there it's definitely getting darker I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna see what they're tracking at this point because it's moving a bit faster than what they were originally saying and I also want to make sure that I have all of our emergency stuff handy I've got our emergency kit all ready to go in our storage area Man, that is so dark. Oh, I didn't even see over this way. Look at this, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take you inside. Wow. Look how fast that's moving over there. Okay, so Dubuque is us. The hail has actually been upgraded so right that's for golf ball size hail. So not wow. With potentially 80 mile per hour wind gusts, you could be also be dealing with golf ball size hail too. We could okay, so here we are. This is where it's tracking right now. Even kind of, a, kind of a bigger issue there. Warnings to the north still in effect. This is for Clayton County and mainly some severe hail, but 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And then we have this. So we're looking at 1.75 inches, 80 mile per hour winds. So these are the cities right now that uh, for Delaware and Dubuque County. So right now it's not tracking to us at this point. This just in a tornado warning is in effect for Grant County. Okay, so that's over in Wisconsin till 4 15 p.m. Buildings so these storm uh, systems, you can see they're building. Look at this. So we're we're right here, you guys. And that kind of thing. So um, I do want to show you that. So it's literally. So here we are. 
Grant County, southern parts of Grant County here. Uh, this is okay, radar I'm going to take you outside and let you see. Yeah, Grant County, Dickeyville. So Dickeyville is really close to us. Potosi is like 17 miles away, um, but it is across the river. And you can see that's probably that rotation that they're seeing in the white there. So I am going to guess that that right there, that is what's heading to Wisconsin. I said it was super dark. So we'll just have to keep keep a close eye on what's going on. Look how dark that is. That is a nasty, nasty cell of storms. I'm gonna take you down a little farther and see what we can oh, bees, watch out for the bees. See what we can see. The air is just so thick, so thick. Look at this. And that would be out, out towards Dyersville that way. And then I don't, I don't know what this, I think that would be towards Guttenberg almost, I would think. Clayton County out that way. Although that could be, that could be Grant County. I mean, it's hard to tell from here because, yeah, that, I think that could be what you're seeing for Grant County. So hard to tell when you're standing down here on the ground, you know. Look at this. Look at these clouds. Wow. This is definitely, definitely intense. Look at this. So you've got clouds moving this way and then you've got clouds moving this way. Can you see that? See? I don't know if I'm getting that all on the screen, but can you see the two directions that the clouds are moving? Oh, look at this. See the like shelves of clouds? And there's more that way. I can hear the thunder now. It's a distant, but I can hear it. It's so dark through here. I'm going to get up a little higher and see if I can show you. We're going to go in and we're going to check the radar. Man. Okay, we are now under a tornado warning, so. Kids, downstairs, tornado warning right now. Come on, the sky's just black. We're under a warning. Let's go. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. You got your pillows? Take a seat on the couch. It's okay. Sit down. There we go. Thank you, KWWL. Okay, so our warnings are going off now. Okay, so like I said, it was starting to look really gnarly. Look at the, look at the trees and it's getting colder. All right, we're going to go in and see what it says on the... Okay, just the day. producing winds in okay. excess of 60 and 70 miles an hour and possible up to 80 miles per hour. Tornado warning, so County Dubuque. And we're getting the reports of power lines down, trees down, farther to the west, only okay. when this thing first started. Right. Can you turn that down for a minute? Yeah. Semi rolled over. Semi rolled over. And so this is all sweeping on through the area. And this is a spot that's still under a severe thunderstorm watch for a good Okay, place. this just sure. in a tornado but warning watch, but that is, until is in effect for or Dubuque until 4.15 p.m. today. Okay. 
so it's so still no wind it's so hot I thought I saw those clouds just kind of moving one direction and then the other though. Look at that out there. I don't know what it looks like. It's perfectly clear that way. Look at those clouds. Do you see it? How they're like, where it's really dark over there. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at and it looks like that's what we're supposed to get hit by. Yeah, see, tornado warning, Dubuque, take cover now. Wow. Whoa. Look at that over there. It's just. It's dark. Hello? Hey, I'm just watching the weather. We are under a tornado warning. Okay. It is where the storm will be coming from, so notice how dark it is. Uh, that vantage point, uh, so far, all is quiet at this moment. But if we look in the other direction, or as we look towards Dubuque there, uh, that is the storm that is approaching you uh, just off to your west and uh, north. And that will be producing winds gusting to about 60 miles per hour. Uh, so we'll be watching both of these cameras there. County. So this is our vantage point of the storm. Their vantage point was a couple areas down by the river. But this is what I can see. Man, that is neat. Wow. Do you see, like, right there? Okay, our sirens are going off now. Yeah, sirens are going off. Look at Do you see off in the distance how the clouds are like funneling? That's the first time I've ever said I think I can see a funnel.
approach in the area. So we still have that tornado warning in effect for Butte uh, County, and that goes until 4:15 p.m. Storm here, and just trying to take a look. It's moving a lot slower than the storm behind it. The storm we've been talking storm here and kind of take a look at the storm Yeah, now the wind's starting to really pick up. And that's kind of what they've been talking about. Oh, that wind is picking up. Look at this. It's still... still warm. Holy cow. <laughs> Trying to hold the door open. That's what we're seeing right now. The tornado warning has been canceled, but we are still under a severe thunderstorm warning. And you can probably see why. Doesn't that sky just look <laughs> look awful? Look at those clouds. So they uh well, so just looking at one of the cameras in, uh, for the debut camera, it looked like there are some white caps that are starting to pick up there. But uh, we'll go back to those in just a little bit. We'll stay with the radar. Uh, white caps, that's what he's calling them. I can see why. They look like, they look like, look at that, like waves in the ocean. Look at it just move in. Look at that over there. Be out here when it starts dropping inch size hail though i actually don't want to be anywhere near windows thanks <laughs> thanks you're no help you're no help <laughs> says, thanks you're no help <laughs> uh, we already know actually i'm gonna check it's tornado go ahead check our radar oh doggy <laughs> This. I'm not speeding these clouds up for you. That is literally how fast they're moving. Look at the sky's green right there. <laughs> well, I hear some thunder. Mm hmm. And lots of lightning is going to be hitting us, so we should probably. It looks like it, it might that. have went that way, though, doesn't it? Look at that little wispy end off of that one. Look at this. These ones have just stayed. Everything else is moving and those ones are just staying. Okay, I'm gonna shut this door because that wind's picking up and I will show you from in here what's going on. Here's the thunder though. All right, so right before all of this hit, I was about to start a load of laundry, and I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Seems to be, seems to be all right right now. So I'm going to start switching loads and 
see what happens the rest of the night. Hazel green, impact, experience, Expect. damage to roofs, side, and trees. Listen to that. Can you hear that thunder? That's all thunder. Thunder, lightning. Wow. I'm going to stay away from the window, although I would love to show you with the intense amount of lightning there is and metal doors. Yeah. What a storm system. Holy cow. So, oh, hanging up socks to dry because I have wool socks that will shrink. Have I ever shown you my shower curtain? It's kind of cool, huh? My mom gave me that, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love it. Anyway, yeah. So, now I'm doing laundry and <laughs> hoping the storm calms down. I know the kids are getting hungry, and it was so hot today, I wasn't going to cook in the oven with the temperatures the way they were. And, uh, oh, listen to that thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can hear it in here. Um the temperatures the way they were I didn't want to cook in the oven so I said we could. that's okay it's just a watch um, I said to Matt I'm like well we could do subs or something and he's like no I think I'd like to do Culver's tonight so he had some money from work that he had won um, that he can use to like order food with so that's what we're doing kids meals for the kids and then we'll get some meals for the adults and should be hopefully a cozy night and hopefully this uh, storm system calms down a little bit. Super dark out now though. See how dark it is in here? It's not even five o'clock. Aspen's all cozy. What are you doing? What are you watching? Yeah, you love the sulfur springs. Of sulfur springs. And they're telling you Savannah disappeared in 1960s. They think she's a ghost and she's dead, but she's secretly alive. Okay, I just have to show you the sky now after the storms. Isn't that neat? And then look at the trees over here. How cool is that?